Well, now at six, a South Florida school employee accused of molesting several students on campus. And tonight, police say his victims were teenagers between the ages of 13 and 17. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister joins us live from the school in Miami Lakes with the charges the 50-year-old is facing tonight. Anna? Hey, Lauren and Jim. Yeah, according to the detective on this case, there are at least seven victims. And I spoke to a concerned grandmother of a student who goes to the school. And she tells me this is not the first time she's heard of this longtime IT technician doing something inappropriate with a student here. As school let out at Bob Graham Education Center in Miami Lakes Tuesday afternoon, concerned parents and family members spoke out. That's completely disgusting. It's outrageous. It's unacceptable. They're reacting to the arrest of 50-year-old Martin Zareski, a longtime IT technician at the school who's accused of inappropriately touching at least seven students. Molestation charge, seven counts in. It says offenses against students by authority figure seven counts. According to the arrest report, Zaretsky tried to develop inappropriate relationships with the victims, stating that the defendant on multiple occasions intentionally touched the victims on their breast and buttocks areas over the clothing against their will in a lewd and lascivious manner. An old man, 50 year old man groping little kids and girls. It's gross. The report goes on to say that Zaretsky waited for the victims after school, would walk them to his office and give them candy, and that he would take them out of their classes so they would walk around with him on the school's campus. His job was only to fix computers. He was not supposed to be walking kids out after dismissal. He was not supposed to be going to the cafeteria and giving them food. He was not supposed to be doing any of the stuff. Family members of students at the school tell us Zaretsky has worked there for years. And one concerned grandmother tells us this isn't the first time she's heard of him being inappropriate with a student. God only knows how many more victims he had. There's complaints of people talking about him 10 years ago. Nothing is being done. Miami-Dade County Public Schools releasing a statement about Zaretsky's arrest, saying in part that they are deeply disturbed by the troubling allegations made against this individual and that the district has initiated employment termination proceedings and will ensure the individual is precluded from seeking future employment with the district. Zaretsky posted bond earlier this afternoon and he was ordered to stay away from and to avoid the victims. But for now, reporting live from Miami Lakes, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami.